Okay, it's a uh, coronavirus day 389 and um I was not surprised uh, so and surprised that okay so they actually dis decided to show coronavirus uh, cases uh today of uh yesterday's and today's so it's like past two days uh meh so, but that's not the only thing I'm going to focus on. So, I'm also, my focus today all goes towards Trent University. And St. Uh, Mary, the Catholic uh, High School in uh, Coburn. A nearby uh, school. Uh. But to get started... Here we go. Let's focus on the depressing stuff first. So we have a five, a total of five thousand and nine hundred seventy-nine coronavirus uh, total cases, uh, combined cases, uh, over the past two days. Uh, so uh, yesterday, three thousand and four and 41 cases and today 2938 okay no so uh 906 uh high cases are from toronto 533 high cases are from uh, peel region 391 is from new york region 230 from ottawa and 140 is from the uh, durham region now uh, so uh so 22 uh, combined uh, deaths uh, have been reported. Uh, so yes, uh, 20, 12 yes, yesterday, 10 today. Variant cases. Okay, so I have not really seen any variant cases. Uh, Two thousand one hundred and thirty-five. Okay, that's something. No. Oh, oh, so, what? So, uh, yeah, there's a uh, one right here. Okay, and uh, and uh, South African variants is uh is that seventy-one. And one hundred and and the Brazilian variant uh, is about thousand a oh, hundred a hundred. I knew it. It it would happen soon, sooner or later. So, so the UK variant uh, is in first place, Brazilian variant in second place, and and third place uh, the South African variants. Uh, Meaning triple trouble, and then there's the coronavirus cases. So uh, okay, so what I want to talk about is, uh, so there has been an account an uh, outbreak. Uh, uh, so there was a one out coronavirus outbreak uh, was lifted at uh, Trent University, while one started at another one. I know it sucks, didn't? It? So P Peterborough Public uh, Health Unit uh, has reported a new outbreak was declared at the Champlain College Annex on Water Street, and uh, so uh, across from the Trent's, uh, Trent University, the uh, Simon's uh, campus, uh, following uh, three positive. Uh, positive uh, cases of coronavirus uh, so uh, so the so the university right now is a uh, supporting the uh, following uh, what uh, health unit is uh, telling them uh, to what to do and uh, so any students who, who have been tested positive for coronavirus or symptomatic and are currently residing on campus for I or identified as a close contact of uh, some 
someone with the uh, coronavirus uh, have uh, already they have been moved to a uh, separate residence uh, specially designed for isolation now uh, so you know they you know the health unit that they have you know vaccinate these uh, students and uh, and they uh, further monitor these uh, so they're doing these uh, into the other like uh, university the University of Waterloo is uh, one of these Queen's University in Kingston is another one, and yes, they're, they're doing that. All are connected with the health unit and receiving support and services from the university, so... So, what what mean, what mean this means for Chan, Champlain Annex uh, students? Uh, uh, they are prohibited from accessing other facilities like food services, back to library, the student centers, and other spaces on campus. And they will not be able to in, uh, entertain guests, or they will uh, not be able to interact with uh, other students. Uh, and especially with the lockdown right now, uh, it's uh, lockdown day three. They will not be able to associate with anybody. So uh, on the, this. Uh, The outbreak that was lifted was at uh, Gazowski uh, College uh, student residence. Uh, so it was uh, declared on March 19th and had up to 14 cases. Uh, so they're, they're uh, in the clear. So, but. Now, uh, Champlain College, College and uh, students aren't the only ones uh, in Peterborough that it's affected right now. Uh, there's a uh, Thomas H. Stewart Secondary Public School that, uh, yeah, they're affected with uh, two cases. Uh, school is, that school is still open right now, you know, with uh, those affected uh, quarantining themselves, right, of course. And two unidentified workplaces uh, declared uh, March 31st. And Empress Gardens uh, Retirement uh, Residence uh, on uh, March 22nd uh, after one t staff member tested positive. So, yeah, there's that. And then there's this. And then my next focus is on St. Mary's. Uh, so, I live in a town that's literally next, uh, next uh, door to uh, Saint uh, Coburg. So, and Saint Mary, that uh, I uh, had some uh, friends uh, who uh, who uh, went to that uh, high school. Uh, so, so uh, apparently a coronavirus uh, outbreak uh, happened uh, there. Uh, So, uh, Principal uh, Jason Roberts uh, on uh, Sunday uh, uh, said uh, the parents uh, were, uh, were told the school would be closed immediately following co consultation between uh, Halliburton Court, the uh, Pine Ridge the District Health Unit, uh, which is the local health unit in, uh, in, our, in this area, and uh, and the Peterborough, Victoria, Northumberland, the Clarington, uh, Clarence Catholic District School Board, which is uh, a... Yeah, which covers the school uh, school boards and uh, this uh, when yeah so uh, so two cases that uh, it started after two cases at the school on Friday, following on by an additional three cases reported on Saturday. My assumption that is that they are staff. So the health unit this then decided it's locked down. It's a uh, closing time. So uh, those uh, those uh, who were like uh, had a uh, coronavirus cases uh, will uh, be. Uh, Will be con contacted by the Halliburton Court of Pine Ridge uh, or Public Health Ontario to uh, receive further direction. Uh, 
uh, and then they will uh, who those who are ill at home isolating will return to school when they have uh, recovered uh, and uh, although I don't really uh, see why, why they didn't have uh, these uh, students students uh, vaccinated or something like that because uh, that would be a not good idea so uh, so so bad news for us. Uh, St. Mary's uh, Secondary uh, Catholic uh, High School. High School. Uh, um, it it uh, used to, you are going under uh, online doing online classes. It I know it sucks. Which will uh, continue until April break, uh, which is, uh, yeah, which is, uh, yeah, starts uh, next week, uh, so anyone who, uh, also who attended, uh, St. Mary's Catholic, uh, secondary school between March 29th and April 1st, who is not, who is not part of the dismissed classroom or bus cohort is advised to self-monitor for signs of symptoms or coronavirus uh, for 14 days from their last day of attendance at the school. So, so uh, and as of Saturday, uh, the Halliburton Court, uh, like a Pine Ridge uh, Health Unit, has uh, report, reported a. Uh, 69 activated active uh, coronavirus cases out in uh, Northumberland County, which includes Coburg. Sixty-nine cases. That means high cases, because uh, all these uh, regions have been like uh, repeat, like reporting a uh, pl plus. 60 cases up uh, because uh, and the last time I checked it was like a plus a eight it went serious like plus 80 so excluding the dangerous uh, main you know the area the region that reported up uh, every single day so you know And of course, there were like a lot of uh, people complaining. Oh, why, 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 why couldn't we have a uh, gathering, large gatherings at this Easter? Yes, uh, but but that was uh, already uh, covered. Uh, yes, though I am, um, you know. And then the lockdown happens uh, only happened only because uh, people uh, were, uh, you know, case coronavirus cases were going up, and UK variants are uh, going up, and uh, Brazilian variants were going up. So uh, the lockdown rules are down below, you know. So uh Nothing about schools, but there's a long-term care homes that just have finally changed, and it is at 3,755 deaths among residents and patients in long-term care homes across the, yeah.
So uh, there are there are. So there's currently 50 outbreaks in uh, long-term care homes right now, and uh, 46 have reported uh, absolutely no uh, resident cases. Uh, so that's good. So. Uh, Oh yeah, hospitalizations, uh, it's uh, kind of mixed. Four, 942 hospitalizations uh, and 811, uh, so uh, yesterday, so uh, which is a plus 146, so, so uh, if you we actually combined it, uh, 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 it'll be over like 1,753. So, uh, 494 uh, in ITU today, uh, uh, 476 uh, yesterday, so that's a uh, plus 43. And two ninety three uh, of them using a ventilator today, yesterday, two hundred sixty two, and plus thirty two. So, uh So tomorrow we it's uh, we're going to back we're going to see like uh, coronavirus uh, cases uh, school really kill school cases because they don't uh, they didn't show school cases uh, today because of course it's Easter Monday and of course it's technically a break day for students. But not for post secondary, sorry. Uh, well, I don't know exactly, but, but, uh, what, what, what the most, imp what matters right now is, uh, people follow, uh, coronavirus, uh, safety rules and regulations, like, you know, wear a mask, wash your hands, and, uh, with water and soap, sanitize your hands, uh, you know, regularly, especially if you're going inside a business or something. Using shopping carts uh, if you're like going grocery shopping or, you know, and staying two meters away from each other and in in lineups, uh, you know, stay uh, wear wear a mask at all times, uh, and lineups uh, will always be outside. Uh, there will not there uh, there's actually no li lineups allowed inside. Uh, When entering a, you know, public space in the, and uh, two meters away from uh, each other, uh, you know, some people uh, have uh, are still not understanding this rule. Uh. So and also, please follow lockdown rules because yeah, the so the lockdown rules are basically like you know, it's like the 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 first lockdown rules and uh, new law gray zone rules that we have to follow sort of combined it's sort of similar some are different and yeah you'll figure it out so avoid having uh, gatherings in uh, large numbers uh, stay safe it's lockdown. Lockdown two, day three. Wow. It's going. It, I have a feeling it might get. It might get worse. Cause uh, sure. Uh, cause uh, the coronavirus cases uh, daily are uh, are around like a uh, three in the neighborhood of a. Uh, 
3,000 and uh, and could be 3,000 tomorrow.